Good morning America, welcome to Cannabis TV. Where you get the latest news on our legalization movement here and now. My name is Hemp Man, and my guest today is Anally Unhappy from the Anal Drug Free America. Hemp Man do we really have to go there? Yes, yes I think we do, have to go there. Drug Free America is being ran by a bunch of hypocrites that get funded by alcohol and tobacco companies. I wonder why? What are you getting at Hemp Man? Where I'm getting is why are you people so against marijuana? I'm sick and tired of government running amok not giving a crap what the American people think and want in life. I'll tell you one thing they want in life, and that's freedom. Our founding fathers went through hell to get us these freedoms and, just like they knew government was bad and evil. Now look. We have so many laws and so many freedoms being taken from us. We have not job lawmakers that make these ridiculous laws that have nothing to do with keeping people safe. The government's job isn't to keep us safe, other than fire, police, and Medicaid, other than that we don't need laws about speeding, we have government telling us how to build our houses, and more recently how much we're allowed to drive our vehicles, and now they want to put the devices on our vehicles, so they know how much we drive a year. It's no one's business whatsoever. Well sir. We are making drug laws to keep our children safe, and if you can't understand that then... Oh I understand alright. Hey parents out there. You need to take care of your children. Well I understand that 100%, but you need to understand that this has a lot more to do with than just our kids. Marijuana is a gateway drug, and it's a proven fact that marijuana leads to other drugs. Oh please, don't hand me that propaganda crap, I have a brain in my head, and no political leader is going to brainwash my brain. How about this do you have any information on deaths due to marijuana? No, I do not, but... But nothing, I'm sick of your drug-free America that's being bought off by alcohol companies and tobacco companies alike. You guys have motives to keep drugs illegal. There are people suffering in jail more than they would be making anyone suffer when taking any drug whatsoever. And you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. It's not up to you and the government. Also big corporate companies that screw people on a daily basis. These political leaders milk the money I pay them, and they have wonderful lives. But news flash fabe. Not everyone is making six figures, and not everyone is having a good old time in life. So why are we making adults kids now? We tell kids what to do, not other adults that are behaving, and just choose another road. It's not up to the government period. I didn't know this was such a heated topic for you hemp man, and I'm sorry we just seem to disagree. But I wish you could see this is good for America, and... What's good for America? What's good for America? You want to do something good for America? Then you'll legalize drugs. The war on drugs has gone and ruined people's lives long enough. People are starting to understand what the government is doing to us, and I suggest to anyone that knowledge is a powerful tool, so never stop learning. Never. SP hold up a second hand man, you want all drugs legalized? Yes. As a matter of fact I do, and I think, that we would be better off. Taxing, regulating, and making sure that it stays out of the hands of minors. We need to use a lot of that saved money, to help get people off drugs, and... Are you a druggy hemp man? See this is typically bullshit from Drug Free America, no I'm not as a matter of fact. Unless the fact that I smoke weed makes you think that I'm a druggy. But no, I don't do any other drugs, and if they were legal I still wouldn't do them, because I know they fucking kill you. And you want to use the money from the taxing and regulating for treatment? Yes, yes I do. Let me tell you that, that's no different than what Drug Free America is doing getting money from alcohol and tobacco companies. It's all a conspiracy to get rid of marijuana. Did you also know marijuana wasn't called marijuana until the 1930s? No, I didn't know that hemp man. See you are no longer allowed to speak to me because you don't have any idea what you're talking about because you never smoked marijuana and you're making marijuana out to be this horrible thing. But you just remember that alcohol kills 100,000 people a year and tobacco is pushing half a million a year. You're telling me that the government is in my best interests? No the government is out for a dollar and that's it honey. 
don't come to me with your drug-free nonsense when you're being funded by the very thing you're telling people to stay off of. Fucking hypocrites never fail to surprise the fuck out of me. Sister go smoke a joint and get your clam stuffed all right. Lighten up honey. Life is too damn short. Have a good day. Come back if you ever have a better argument. Goodbye madam. Yeah yeah, whatever hand man. You just remember that it's sent to do drugs and... And nothing honey, that's a whole another story for a whole nother day. Religion is what's wrong with this picture. Religionists want us to think like them, but they need to understand that this world is made up of physical characteristics and read a damn biology book once and a while. It will contradict your Bible, so which one are you going to believe? Evolution is the way of life because it's all about biology. Biology is science, and science is biology. You can't be religious, and no evolutions out there. Religion has nothing on evolution. I'll tell you this, I do understand that religion has its place. But it does not have any place in the courtroom. That goes for the Bible you swear against when you're in criminal court. Because not everyone believes in that book, and it's not fair to push those beliefs on someone. America is going in the wrong direction, Obama has picked us up in some ways. But look at his deficits are going way past pushes by far. But, now, I'm just going on a rant, and I'm running out of time, so you have yourself a wonderful day, and if you have a better debate come back anytime. But until then get lost you stupid bitch.